What are LDL and HDL? HDL are two types of lipoproteins that carry cholesterol to and from the body cell into the blood. The liver then packages these triglycerols as fats into adipose tissue and turns some of it into cholesterol. How do LDL and HDL differ structurally and functionally? The main structural difference between LDL and HDL is their compositions. Approximately 50% of the weight of an LDL particle is cholesterol and only 25% is protein. High density lipoproteins particles on the other hand consist of 20% cholesterol by weight and 50% protein. Why do doctors moderate the concentrations of LDL and HDL in patients' blood? A high-density lipoprotein test measures the level of good cholesterol in your blood. LDL is considered a bad cholesterol because high levels in your body can lead to black buildup in the arteries. This can result in heart disease or a stroke. How are the concentrations of LDL and HDL associated with the risk for heart disease and associated disorders? Abnormal levels of lipids in the blood are a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. High levels of LDL cholesterol lead to ethriol, increasing the risk of heart attack and ischemic stroke. HDL cholesterol reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease as it carries cholesterol away from the bloodstream. What other molecules in the patient's blood are monitored along with LDL and HDL? Other molecules monitored along with LDL and HDL in a patient's blood includes triglyceride, low-density lipoproteins, and high-density lipoproteins. Triglycerides are a type of fat found in the bloodstream inside of cholesterol molecules. Therefore, high levels of triglycerol increase the risk of heart disease. What do the results of a cholesterol test mean? How do patients in interpret each value? If your doctor suggests a fastening cholesterol test, the lab will analyze your levels of LDL, HDL, triglycerides, and total cholesterol. For a test, you will need to fast 9 to 12 hours before the blood test. What can patients do to change the levels of LDL and HDL in their blood? Several things can be done to change the levels of both LDL and HDL in your blood. Saturated fat intake should be limited 7% or less of total calories. Cholesterol should be 200 mg per day or less, and omega-3 fatty acids will increase HDL levels. How does intake of unsaturated, saturated, and trans fats affect cholesterol levels and overall health? Dietary fat, especially saturated and trans fats, may raise blood levels of total and LDL cholesterol. Replacing some saturated fats with polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats can help. Lower blood cholesterol. Higher levels of HDL cholesterol help lower the risk of heart disease.